let's hide all these ends. I will show you a few how I'm doing and I will show you how I look once I'm done. Okay, so let's maybe choose this one. It's a good color to see on a camera. I have these two very close to each other. So what I will do first before I put my needle through, I will tie them even one more time to make them more secure. Now I will have to hide the ends and I'm making sure I'm on the wrong side. And I have my needle. The reason why I'm using this type of needle is because it's thin and I can actually go through the fiber. I don't want to go around the fiber, but I want to actually go through the fiber. It's more secure that way. Okay, so we have red color and we have to hide. Also, I have to remember this is my front. I want to be able to use the first row uh, to put my uh, slip stitches. So I do not want to hide this in the first stitch because I want this stitch to be very workable. So I will move my needle to my second stitch. And once I'm in my second stitch, what I do, I'm going between the fibers few times, actually three times. And now I can cut this yarn as close as is possible to the project and it's done. So this is my one. Now I go back to the same section, which I just tied and do the same thing only hiding ends in the orange side. So again, this is my first stitch. I want this to be workable for me. So I will go in between gray and put this to my second stitch. Once I'm in my second stitch, I can go three times up and down. And again, this needle is thin, so it goes between the fibers. So it's more secure than going around the fiber. Once it's cut, that's how it look. And let me show you how it's done once I'm done with one side. So this is my side that I still have to do. And this is the side that I already hide all the ends. This is the right side. This is the left side, which almost look identical with the exception. I kept the marker which side I want to keep left. So I pass the color on the left side. I also connected my uh, front to back and that's how it looks like. So now I have marker uh, middle and the back and I have two markers on each side. And that's how much ends I have to cut off. So I have to do here the same thing. And I'm done with both of my sides. All the ends are hidden. It looks nice and neat. This is the right side and that's how it looks on both wrong sides. Now you can see the reducing stitches more clearly. This is for the v-neck and this is for the sleeve. I also have here for the neck, so the sweater will be fitted. 
So let me know if you try this type of block stitch, if you, what you made. Uh, I will recommend definitely for um, scarves, blankets, uh, as you see, sweaters, vests. If I want to do vest, I will be technically done. Um, and um, I can add additional stitches around to make this even more pretty. And that will be my vest. But I am still going. I need to make two sleeves. And then I want to finish um, on the bottom with the same decorative stitch that I will go around. So um, that's it for now with this one.